Hi everyone. I want to do this video because uh, basically I'm addicted to coke. No, I don't mean cocaine. I mean the soft drink coke. Um, I've been drinking it for about five years. Um, I started off drinking about I could go through two liters of coke a day, um, but only now I drink. Sometimes I drink 600 mils of coke a day or I'll have um, a can of coke a day whatever is available really um, no matter how many times I've tried to kind of give up I can't I've tried to drink water um, without buying coke that's always failed um, I'd buy say like a two litre bottle and then I'd go to the fridge and just have like little mouthfuls throughout the day just to kind of cut down um, that didn't help because it just kept making me want to get more um, coke is really really bad for you I know that back in the day they used to put um, cocaine in it I think that was like 1970 or something like that then something happened and they were told to take the cocaine out of the coke and so they needed something to um, obviously make people addicted and want people to keep drinking it so they put um, caffeine in it and also caffeine is a drug as well but it's a legal drug um, now when people drink coke and that they say oh they're addicted to the coke it's not the coke that you're addicted to it's either um, the sugar or it's the caffeine but it always seems to come back as the caffeine is the addiction and you need to learn how to break the caffeine addiction I've looked up <coughs> heaps of videos I've tried to um, read information up about how to cut down on the caffeine I've tried that and it does not work so if anyone out there actually knows how to cut down then let me know it's not actually easy when you've been drinking coke every day for five years um, even though back when I said five years I had children okay so before the five years I had no children and I was drinking two litres of coke a day but then what happened was one day out of nowhere I got an anxiety attack and at that time I didn't know what an anxiety attack was I actually thought I was having a heart attack so I went to the hospital and they told me, oh yeah, it's a panic attack. And they said, um, what if you had to eat or drink? I said, oh, I had about five cans of Coke. And they said, well, that's why the Coke would have caused you to have that panic attack. And that's what happens when you drink it. And because that was my first time um, of the panic attack, I didn't know how to control it. And for those people that know about anxiety and you don't know how to control an anxiety attack, it feels like you're constantly having a heart attack and you cannot breathe at all. Well, you are breathing, but psychologically you think that you're not breathing. Um, so it is a really, really uncomfortable feeling when you do have it. So at the time when I came back from the hospital or whatever, there's this thing in my head that kept saying, OK, if you drink Coke, you're going to have another panic attack. And I didn't like that feeling. So despite me drinking two litres a day for like how many years at that time I had that thought in my head and I completely stopped drinking the coke and so I drank nothing but water for about I think that went on for about two three years roughly um, and I lost like a lot of weight I was down to a size um, six Australian size and that's really really small um, I did become underweight for my height but I was healthy I wasn't like anorexic or anything I was just normal but um, I was considered underweight <coughs> um, I was fine I was healthy my stomach ache stopped everything like that and they even got to the point where um, I didn't even have takeaway anymore because I thought anything that had acid in it or whatever would cause me to have that problem until I found out that almost everything's got acid in it. Um, even though people were shoving coke in my face, like other people were drinking coke around me, yeah, it was really, really hard, but then, like, I just thought, nah, 
I'm going to get that panic attack. And, you know, that was it. Then eventually, you know, I fell pregnant. I had my kids and whatever. And during my pregnancy, I started drinking Coke again. That thought was totally gone because I worked out how to control panic attacks. So that's what made me get back on it. I thought, well, okay, panic attacks are nothing. Um, I can control them now, so I don't need to worry. And so ever since then, and that's been five years now, I can't get off it. Um, I went, I went through I think two weeks, um, not that long ago. I did two weeks, and it didn't last long. Um, I was really, really angry. Um, I was just shouting at everybody. I was really, really tired. Um, water wouldn't satisfy me. Um, I was eating more. It was just a really, really bad experience and I actually quit cold turkey for two weeks and you're not meant to do that and now I understand why because I felt really horrible. Um, I even actually felt really sick as well, like I was just going to throw up or something. I know that I should have kept going because I knew that there were just withdrawals and everything like that and you do overcome it, but because I didn't like the feeling I went back on it. Um, I like the taste of coke, I get this feeling in my mouth where I'm like, I need coke, I need coke. It's probably not the taste of coke, it's probably the caffeine in it, I'm not sure. Um, people are probably going to say, oh, you know, have coffee with caffeine in it or whatever. I can't drink coffee. I don't like the taste of it. I've tried to drink tea. don't like the taste of it. I do drink water. Um, as you see, I'm drinking a can of Pepsi, which is basically exactly the same thing. Um, even now, like, I've got a taste in my mouth that I just, I've got to keep drinking it. Um, and because I get so many stomach aches, like, my stomach aches are really, really bad. Like, I get really bad cramps. Um, I have these to stop my stomach aches. Like, I go through these really quickly. Um, these are really, really good. I don't know if they sell these in America or not, I'm not sure, but in Australia. And if you get really bad stomach aches, I suggest you use these. Um, I also have Panadine Fort when I can get it. Um, they really, really help my stomach aches. So you would think, even if I get stomach aches, that I would stop drinking it. No. People think it's so easy to just give up the, you know, drinking Coke and the caffeine and whatever, but, you know, I'm living proof right here that it's not easy. And I've tried absolutely everything. I'm trying to get off it. And if you ask me, like, I know that Coca-Cola is, like, the best-selling drink there is in the world, but something really needs to be done because it is addictive. And, yes, they get high sales for it, obviously, because so many people are addicted to it. But, honestly, something should be done. Um, either they take the caffeine out and put something in it that's not going to be high-risk to people, obviously. Like, I've gained weight from drinking it and I know that I've gained weight because when I was drinking it and then I gave up for the two weeks, during those two weeks I lost weight, I wasn't bloated or anything, I just felt normal and then I started drinking it again and like now I'm really bloated and I've probably put on a kilo so you know it does make you gain weight because of all the sugar, it's addictive because of the caffeine, whatever else is in it I'm not even sure. Um, if you try to find videos on how is Coca-Cola made and that, you'll find that they don't usually tell you what's in it. They just show you kind of um, what happens in their factory and when it gets to the stage of putting the stuff in the bottles, they don't actually tell you what's in it. And it's some sort of major secret as where other companies will gladly tell you what's actually in it. Um, I'd say also the bad thing in it is the acid as well, um, like you get really, like the stomach aches are probably from all the gas as well, which is not really another, a good thing, um, but yeah, mainly I wanted to do this video just because there wasn't many videos out there about people telling their story about their experience with their 
addiction to Coca-Cola because I know there's many people out there that are addicted to it and also caffeine but in most cases it's usually um, coffee but in this case it's the drink and if anyone else has the same problem or whatever I'd really really like to hear from you to see how bad your situation is and um, I know some people that drink I think like 10 bottles of coke a day or something like that that's really bad I thought I was bad um, but yeah comments whatever just let me know it'd be really great to hear from you thanks for watching